it was said yesterday that uh, Trey Lance had been excused from practice a little bit early uh, when they announced that Sam Donald would be the backup uh, to Brock Purdy for the uh, 49ers. And it was said that he was excused so he could take some time to like cool off a little bit. And I mean, I wish all jobs were like that. Uh, Cause there are some that some bosses that are like that where they be like, you know what? If if they make a decision that they know is gonna affect you and you one of their uh, significant employees, then they'll be like, you know what? T take take some time to cool off. Take a couple days off. Most companies ain't doing that though. So shout out to Trey Lance for making it to the NFL where they do do that. But the 49ers were like, you know what? Yeah, we're gonna give you a little more than a couple days off. We're gonna give you a brand new team, brand new atmosphere, brand new coaching staff, brand new situation because the 49ers uh, they traded Trey Lance. The number three overall pick for a 2024 fourth round pick. So Cowboys getting some really good value there. Um, but let's look at the conversation. The 49er traded Trey Lance to the Cowboys for a 2024 fourth round pick per source. It is done. That's a wrap. It is official. Trey Lance is going to the Cowboys. Now, I know one thing that a lot of people would immediately think, uh-oh, QB controversy. What could it be? What could it mean? And I think this is just the Cowboys just trying it out. They're like, oh, hey, what's the worst that could happen? What's the worst that could happen? Um, with Dak Prescott, I feel like they know who he is. They know what he's done. They know what he's capable of, too. And Dak Prescott is no bad quarterback by any means. Is he the best? No. Does he need to be the best in order for the Cowboys to succeed? No, because Cowboys got a pretty nice team. But they usually feel pretty good teams every single year. But I think this is just the Cowboys just simply taking a fly. I don't think it's any QB controversy or anything like that. I think this could be something where they just they try to fix them. It's, it's like when you see somebody, they were in a bad relationship before. And they may have some traits. The other person that they were with may have some traits. But then you look from afar and you're thinking like, man, if I was with them, then I could fix them. I, I, I know if I'm given the opportunity to get with that person... I can fix them. And this is the Cowboys saying, we can fix them. Now, I wonder what was wrong, though, because you talk about Kyle Shanahan. You think about Kyle Shanahan and, and just what he's done with different quarterbacks and whatnot. And he's known as somebody who can just make something out of nothing when it comes to a quarterback and somebody that can really get the best out of his guys. But then you think about with Trey Lance, uh, I, I just feel like there wasn't a consistent opportunity given because, uh, again, they, they drafted him with, again number three overall, I believe. Um, and injuries ended up happening. Brock Purdy ended up happening. Jimmy Garoppolo ended up. There's, there's a lot of stuff that ended up happening. And it just, it just never worked out. The timing was just all kinds of bad. Uh, and then whenever you heard about him, whenever you heard about him, it was just like, you, you especially this offseason, you just heard so much bad coming out of the camp about Trey Lance. Uh, you heard some good here and there, but mostly you just – you didn't hear much good. So that couldn't be a confidence booster for him. Um, his confidence. Uh, I think his confidence may be a little rocked right now, maybe a little shook right now because, again, you go from being the number three overall pick. Like, they gave up a boatload of picks to get you, and now they gave up on you. And, I mean, it felt like they gave up on him last year, but, again, injuries happened and whatnot, but they, they moved on from you. Just a couple years after you got drafted, number three overall, man. That's crazy. That's crazy. And when you think about it, you know, football players, they are very, um, very emotional people because they're people. Then that's fine. Um, but especially quarterbacks, quarterbacks. Oof, yeah. Quarterbacks are very sensitive. And again, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But this could do some damage to his ego. But hopefully the Cowboys, but whatever they're going to do, how are they going to use them? Hopefully they can pick him back up. You know, Jerry, Jerry Jones is always looking for something. He's always looking to make some kind of signature move, some kind of blockbuster move. And while this is not blockbuster, blockbuster. It's more like Hollywood video type of move. But, hey, you never know what could happen. A couple of different scenarios could happen. Maybe uh, down the road a little bit, Dak Prescott is looking like, uh, and then the Cowboys are like, oh, you know what, we'll move on. Because, you know what, I never thought they would move on from Ezekiel Elliott. And I know right now it may sound crazy, but we've seen crazier. Another scenario is that they work on him, they train him, they get him right. And then they maybe show him off in the preseason or something, and another team is looking. And they're like, oh, you know what, oh, Trey, Trey, Trey Lance, the re he's – revitalizing the the resurgence of Trey Lance and they're like you know what let's let's get Trey Lance or you know what maybe he stays as a backup with the Cowboys and with Dak Prescott they're like hey stay ready so you ain't got to get ready we got Dak Prescott that's our guy obviously but we got Trey Lance waiting in the background just in case so a lot of different things could happen with this and we'll just be waiting to see but you you know Cowboys they they always up to something they're always up to something so Anyway, team, keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. And just like Trey Lance is, when it comes to being with the 49ers, I'm out.